Hey everyone, today we're actually going to do the Great Gatsby look. Now to prep the base, I'm basically going to take a really nice kind of just plain beige color and I'm going to just basically spread it all over the lid. And what this is going to do is it's going to help prep the area so this way all the eyeshadow goes on really nice and smooth. Now for the Great Gatsby Smoky Eye, you really want to do kind of a rounded smoky eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a nice matte gray color and I'm just going to kind of do it in a more rounded shape. Start with the lid, applying it evenly. And when you're doing the Great Gatsby Smoky Eye, you really want to keep it rounded. So instead of elongated the smoky eye, you're going to go ahead and you're just going to keep it right in the center of the eye on the brow bone. Now using the same eyeshadow, you're going to go ahead and use a pencil brush and you're just going to basically line along the bottom lash line. Now using a domed brush, I'm going to take the exact same eyeshadow and I'm just going to intensify the color right in the hollow of the eye. Next you can take a color that really matches the gray and make it more of a metallic color. So I'm going to use this kind of shimmery color here and I want to just emphasize the roundness of her lid so I'm just going to place it in the center of her lid and blend it outwards. Next we're just going to grab a nice pencil crayon in black and we're just going to line along the upper lash line. Next I'm just going to grab a beige eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and line in the bottom waterline. This is really going to open up the eye and give you even more of a rounded eye. Now another really great tip to make your eyes look really nice and big, you can take that eyeliner and just draw a dot right in the outer corner and inner corner of your eyes and this will instantly open your eyes. Next we're going to go ahead and apply some mascara. We're going to use the Marc Jacobs mascara here and we're going to just brush this right along the lashes. Next we're going to grab the Huda Beauty Coco Joe lashes and these are really great for the Great Gatsby look because they're really nice and straight. So I did go ahead and I just basically trimmed off the end of the lashes and by doing this I'm just going to go ahead and ensure just more beautiful application and even more of that kind of uh, doughy eye that they had very famous in the 20s. While bold brows are super popular right now, the 20s was really all about a nice light soft brow and it was more rounded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really nice light brow pencil and I'm going to start tracing her natural brow and then at the end I'm just going to kind of make it a little more rounded. Now that we've finished the eyes, we're going to go ahead and move on to the lips. Now the lips are actually very important for the Great Gatsby look. So we're going to go ahead and start by using the Marc Jacobs concealer and applying just a small amount. I'm using my fingers to kind of blend out the edges. Now we're going to go ahead and use a really nice burgundy color and you can see this kind of has that really deep, deep color. So we're going to go ahead and take it with a lip brush and we're going to focus on the center of the lips. Now using a brown eyeliner, we're going to go ahead and line the lips and I'm going to keep the focus right here on the Cupid's bow. And the Great Gatsby look is really kind of about a very pouty lip that is kind of almost pinched together. Now you can use a very deep lip liner or a brown or black eyeliner is perfect because it really gives you that definition and that deep, deep color. So don't be shy, even if it's very dark, once you blend it, it will look really beautiful and dark. Now I'm going to use a more subtle contour. So I'm going to grab the Too Faced Sun Bunny, which is a really beautiful kind of highlighted contour. And I'm just going to apply a straight line right in the jaw. Now just to complete the face, I'm actually going to go back to my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to grab this really beautiful kind of shimmery beige color and I'm just going to use a fan brush and I'm just applying it to the very top point of her cheekbones. So this is the finished Great Gatsby look and as you can see it's super beautiful, it's very glamorous and I absolutely love this look. We hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you guys in the next tutorials.